no one I know has ever been where I'm sitting right now. I can't believe how much they do and how fast they do it. Laundry service, y'all. Clothesline, towels, hammock, bug net. Then they use a stick to keep the bug net up like that. Yep, time to try to catch a little, uh, a little bait. See if we can't catch some piranhas. Yes! Bro, you get bonus points. What do I got here? Got me a little piranha. Piranha! That's your catfish bait. That's a nice stinking fish, dude. Whoa, are you kidding me? After 17 days in the jungle, I was craving some of my favorite food. That's why I would like to thank today's sponsor, Cook Unity. Unbox your happiness. Cook Unity is the first chef to you meal delivery service made up of over 70 chefs who believe that great food should be for everyone. I feel my taste buds traveling the world every time I dig into one of these meals. Each week, award-winning chefs handcraft hundreds of globally inspired meals from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Meals are delivered fresh, never frozen, and the menu rotates every week, so there's always something new to try. These award-winning chefs use amazing ingredients like fresh herbs, wild or humanely raised meat, and they put their heart and soul into these meals. My favorite is the adobo flank steak. It is so good. And Sarah, she loves the chicken thighs with pistachio mole, and Ari and Emma, they freak out for the crispy Parmesan chicken tenders. They are so good and so easy to make. Pour the sauce on top, put it in the oven, and you're ready to go. In about 15 minutes, my entire family's ready to go. Even as much as I like to cook, it's really nice to let the professionals do it for you. That is absolutely phenomenal. It's moist, it's tender, and it tastes great. If you would like to try Cook Unity for yourself, please click on the link in the description below or go to cookunity.com forward slash deer meat and be sure to use promo code deer meat 50 for 50% 50 off your first order of Cook Unity. Using what's called a fish finder rig, the weights beneath it, it's gonna go down and this should sit out here in the current like that. We're about specifically right there. Now these jokers, we're fishing for a fish they call Haimara, or a wolf fish. Is it cat? Yeah, one of those tiger cats. He catches catfish everywhere he goes. There we go, awesome, got him. That's a nice fish. That's a nice stinking fish, dude. Mara, a wolf fish, and a monster at that. Look at the teeth on that pig. 
Oh, he's got a strong jaw. What an amazing, amazing fish. Off he goes. Boys, my man, Nelson, Rovin, these are dreams coming true. <laughs> I left my jacket at camp like an idiot. Almost lost a rod. One thing I've learned, when you say it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. <laughs> Dude. What? <laughs> Think, without our frog tog stuff, this, this we would be so screwed. Cool. Well, I was uh, wondering when we were gonna get a shower today. Just put some soap, you're good to go. Yeah. I want to see if everything stays dry. It has been downpouring. Pretty good. You want me to open it up? Well, no, leave it, leave it closed. I don't want any moisture in here. They look dry to me. Without our footage, we're just on a vacation. You have no idea how much work we've put into filming on this trip. Well, good morning. This is my hammock that I sleep in every night out here on the river. Typically, back home, anytime you see somebody, they lay in the hammock like this. This is not how you lay in a hammock. If you want to be comfortable in your hammock, you've got to turn at like a 45 degree angle. Now you can lay flat. If you lay with the hammock, you're like a banana. If you turn at an angle, then you're perfectly flat. You can use the side of the hammock as a pillow, or you can take your blanket and put it in here. If it gets really cold, you lay the hammock or you lay the blanket under you and then wrap it over you. But you learn so much out here in the forest and on the river with these guys. The Amerindians are the most quiet, loving, hardworking, helpful, resourceful, intelligent people I've ever been around. See you soon, ladies. There's no room for error here. If you come on a trip like this, bring alcohol wipes. Austin brought a whole bag of them and they have been hugely beneficial keeping camera lenses clean cleaning cameras you name it man they're so beneficial Hang on to a vine if need be. All right. Let's do it. Even these things that look like mullet have some kind of crazy chompers these wolf fish live down on the bottom in amongst the rocks and crevices oh that's a nice bite that's one that's a fish come on got me in some stuff, but it's okay. I think I can, I'm gonna work them out. Oh my. He's got me all in. Oh, 
I got him out. Oh my gosh. They come up just mouth wide open. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. Did you guys get any of that? Look at this fish. There's the hook. There's the fish. I mean, I don't even know what to call this thing. That is one of the most brutal, crazy fish I've ever seen. I'm gonna set him back in the water here. What a prehistoric, amazing, good job, amazing fish. The good thing about using a circle hook is that he's gonna be hooked in the corner of the jaw. As that hook comes out, and change his direction, it's gonna grab him in the corner of the jaw. This is a very good hook for the mortality of the fish. You know the only thing better than catching a big Haimara? It's catching another big Haimara. That was one of the most ungraceful casts of my life. Check your drag. They have that big mouth and as soon as they eat, you need to come tight so that they don't completely swallow it. That's super shallow right there. We're looking for these deeper holes. There's going to be a fish. There he is. As soon as it went down, he ate it. The fish was sitting at the bottom of the hole. Look at the other one with him. There's another one with him. Dude, take your rod and, and catch the other one. So there's a rock right here. And as soon as the fish, as soon as the bait dropped to the bottom of the rock, he smashed it. There you go. One more bait. I know exactly where they're at. So there's a rock here and I, I landed the bait on top of the rock the first time. And as soon as I moved it, it fell down to the bottom of the rock. And I mean, as it went down, whop, he ate it. Watch this, let's try to do that again. I got him, I got, got him. him. Watch him, he's gonna come up. These fish are so ruthless. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. There you go. No harm, no foul, just a, mem just a memory of a lifetime. So you guys know me. I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years now. Where I am and what I'm doing is like the, the most amazing experience ever. Because I guarantee you, the number of people that have fished right here is so minimal. And to come out here with all these awesome dudes and those amazing ladies and experience this, it's something that dreams are made of. That's a big catfish. This is a... Oh. All right, I'll get him again. Here, right here. That's... Just pure dominance. Hook comes right out. I mean, this looks like those big, huge trout that they catch in Tibet. Unbelievable. Go ahead and let him go. 
Incredible. You know what they say, Austin Crocker, batter up. Going down. I'm on. <laughs> Just get used to hearing that. <laughs> Say something. You made that rig? You, you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guarantee you have a nick in your braid. Shoot. Okay, awesome. Make us proud here. Make us proud. It's like pulling a big snook out of the bridge. Come to Papa. Here he comes. Oh, what a monster. Oh, they are so strong. How about I gave Roven that reel 13 years ago and you're catching a fish on it now? Mouth, yeah, just like, yeah, right in like that. All, it has to be all four fingers in his mouth, though. <laughs> um, oh, he is barely hooked, just in the skin of his lip. What do you think about that? Hurry up and go up front, real quick. I could just set him free, set him in the water. Just let him go, right? See ya. Hey, Robin. Pretty work, my brother. Yeah, nice. Boys. Jerry. Thank you so much. I just got nice informed that that right there <laughs> is dinner. Oh yeah. Thank you. That made my trip. That's awesome, dude. All right, I'm gonna try to slide fish. out of here. Don't yeah. let your fish bite me. Hey, we just got back to camp. This is where I thought we were gonna go, but we wound up going two more waterfalls ahead, and today was one of the most incredible days of my life, and it culminated this whole expedition. On the way back, Austin caught this beautiful Haimara, or wolf fish, and if you look at them really close, it's just an amazing fish. It's like. The whole length of him goes all the way back to his tail. You can see all the spots. You can tell he's perfectly camouflaged down in the bottom of the river there. And we're going to cook this thing for dinner. Just like every other fish, we're going to just... Man, they're so meaty. I hope it tastes like a snake head. When you run your hands down this fish, like most of our fish back home will have one set of pin bones. This fish has many, many, many sets of bones, Y bones. Virtually no bloodline, beautiful piece of fish. Now, a lot of bones there, not many up, yeah, there's bones all through it, but hey, we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We'll see you up in the kitchen.
this is our table we're capturing footage somewhere over there in the darkness is Rovin there he is there he is this is Kenneth Kenneth is really who helped set this whole expedition up Rovin is who took care of business Austin is that guy and this is me bro yeah it's really good I'm not 100% sure what they did with this but that's good this is one of those trips that I will remember and cherish for the rest of my life and I can't wait to come back and try to do it again but I guarantee you I will never come back here without my wife baby I love you to death and I can't wait to see you I'm on my way home everyone else thank you so much for being part of our channel and a part of my life and being that support and encouragement to make me try to be my best each and every day everybody in Rewa everyone in Guyana you have so much to be proud of this place is amazing but that's all I've got for tonight take care God bless <laughs> and we gone